On the west coast, so it's late night. I'ma make time if you make time. I'ma make time if you make time. I just wanna see the top with you. I just wanna be in the drop with you. I just wanna spin the black with you. I just wanna spend some nights with you. I got things to do. Hi, my name is Rachel. Welcome back to another YouTube video. So in today's video, I'm going to recap my most recent training block. It was very successful. I hit a few PRs and there were some other wins as well. So I'll talk about all of that and how that went, as well as some of my goals for the next one. And then to keep the video a little bit more entertaining, I'll also throw in some productive weekend clips. If I'm not productive on weekends, my life will literally fall apart. So Anyways, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So today is Saturday and I had master's class, but thankfully it was on Zoom. So I got to sleep in until 8.30 and then class was from 9 to 12.30. After that, I made lunch. I went straight to the gym and then I went to the grocery store. I got my groceries done a little bit early, which was nice. And then right now it's like five o'clock. So I'm going to take my dog for a walk. Oh, she's excited. She heard it. <laughs> okay, I'll check back in after. Cake. Shake. Good girl. You're ready for a walk, huh? I think we caught it just in time to be able to go all the way down the trail and back before it gets dark. back from my walk I'm at about 9,000 steps and it's only six o'clock so I'll definitely get some more steps around my house but I figured I would go into the recap of my training block and then overlay some videos as I'm talking about it and then I'll go into the rest of my weekend clips after that just to break up the video a little bit but any all right anyways I have my training block pulled up right now so I'm going to be looking at what I did this block as I overlay the footage so for squats, I was working up to a five repetition max by week three. I started with 185 pounds RP6 week one, or it might have been a five. And then week number two, I went up to 195 pounds at RP7. And then for the last week, I jumped up to 204 pounds at RP8. And it felt like a true RP8, but it was a really good PR for me. I think it was like a five and a half pound PR which was nice. And then week four, I actually pushed my deadlift PR. So I only had some very light squat volume on week four. So that way I was able to hit a squat PR one week and then a deadlift PR the next week. And then as far as the rest of the squats for this block on my primary squat day, I had paused high bar squats and also just some regular comp squat back offs. And then on my secondary squat day, I had a lot of safety bar squat variations. So I had regular safety bar squats and then I had 1.5 rep squats where you go down, up out of the hole, and then all the way back down and then all the way up again. So I had a lot of squat volume and it felt really good. I felt like my technique was getting more dialed in too, which is great. I didn't feel like I started too high or too low. I felt like I chose good top set selections and good back off set selections, etc. But overall that went really well. And then on the lines of accessories on my squat days, I also really, really pushed my reverse lunges and my split squats on my reverse lunges with a front foot elevation. I was able to start with 45s and by the end of the block, even though I had the deload squats, I hit a PR, let me see what it was. It was a set of eight reps on each leg at 75 pounds in each hand. So that's 150 pounds on a reverse lunge, which I was really happy about. And then on my other day, I had split squats. And the first week I was only using 40 pounds. And then the last week I moved up to 70 pounds for a set of eight on each leg, which was really cool. I feel like for me personally, I honestly sometimes like my single leg PRs more than I like my actual 
compound movement PR is because it feels like very rewarding to be able to lift a lot of weight on just one leg and also because I descend so slowly into the hole on my squats I feel like my single leg exercises really help me with stability because my legs are just so long but anyways moving on to bench I had photo bench on my primary bench day and I hit a PR week three at 149 pounds and then also that same week on my secondary day I attempted a set of five at 145 pounds, but I did not push the fifth rep all the way up. I think I would have done it if I didn't have a spotter, but because like obviously the safety bars, but because my husband was there, I was like, eh, I don't really feel like pushing it that much. But anyways, I know I have it. I think I was just a little bit fatigued. And then that fatigue definitely carried over into week four. I still hit a PR on Spoto Bench again at 152 pounds. But because of the fatigue, it moved really slow. But overall, I'd still say my bench progressed this block. And I didn't really hit any exciting accessory PRs on my bench days. So I think that's definitely a goal for the next block to be a little bit more intentional with my upper body movements and really trying to push those. Like pull-ups is an exercise in particular that I really want to push. And then as far as deadlifts go, I had pause deadlifts the entire block. I started with literally three sets of four at 240 pounds, which is super light on pause deadlifts. And then by the end of the block, well, week two, I had a heavy set of four at 264 pounds. And then week three was super light again. That was the week that I pushed the squat PR. And then week four, I hit a top set of three pause at 286 pounds RPA. I was super happy about that. And then snatch grip RDLs were okay this block. I feel like it's just very limited by my upper body and not with my legs at all but I think that's pretty much it so I'm going to go ahead and hop right into the rest of the video with my weekend clips all right it is seven o'clock so I need to hurry up and do my meal prepping so I have food for tonight tomorrow and Monday to start the week off right so I'll show you what I'm cooking so I start by putting coconut oil and onions on and then I add in all my veggies and throw in some salt and pepper So next I'll cook up my protein. I have two packages of ground turkey with coconut oil, ground ginger, minced garlic, soy sauce, and sriracha. So my little mini meal prep station, I have three Tupperware containers, my bowl for tonight, and my rice packet for tonight, which I'll also have one with the other meals as well. Final product, seven ounces of ground turkey in each meal. I also added some green onions and lime juice on top. If you would like me to do a full day of eating in a future video, please let me know. I'm going to relax and enjoy the rest of the evening with my puppy. I'll show you some more weekend clips tomorrow though, so I'll catch you then. All right, it's Sunday right now, so I'm going to start by showing you some clips from my workout today. It's the first bench day of my new training block, so let's jump in. I just finished up my last Shakespeare acting class, which is kind of sad, but it was also really fun and I'm glad I did it. So it's always good to try new things when you have the opportunity to do so. But anyways, I'm going to close this video off right now. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one.